All eyes were on Sweden this weekend. Yep. After you know who gave an impassioned speech about how global scourge of immigrants has rocked the land of IKEA and ABBA and Igmar Bergman. <laughs> Take a look. You look at what's happening in Germany. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. They took in large numbers. They're having problems like they never thought possible. So a lot of people weren't sure exactly what he was talking about, including everyone in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> even the former prime minister asked, what's he been smoking? <laughs> he did say that. Yes, right? he, yeah, did he did say did. that, yeah. <laughs> a day later, uh, <laughs> He clarified he was referring to a Fox News report about immigration problems in Sweden that was tied to some documentary a guy is doing. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is the problem that, that I had with it. Um, if you Only one? Oh, I, I had several. <laughs> You're right, Whoopi. I had several. But the report, the documentary, was based on these interviews with police officers in Sweden. <laughs> Those police officers has, have come forward and they said, quote, it was supposed to be about crime in high-risk areas. There wasn't a focus on migration or immigration. We were answering completely different questions in the interview. This is bad journalism. So Trump likes to talk about fake news. Well, he based his statement on fake news that was based on fake journalism. Yeah. So it's just unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. From Tucker Carlson's show on uh, Fox News. Maybe Tucker should be his national security advisor. <laughs> Tucker's very smart. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, then actually. why didn't Tucker vet that? Yeah. He did. Well, Tucker did a follow-up segment on it, actually. I, I, for me, the issue was that he didn't. He made it sound like there was an incident of terrorism yeah. that happened in Sweden. Yeah. If he wanted to talk about Germany and he wanted to talk about the influx of refugees, many who don't have background checks, who have been responsible for, for violent crimes and deaths of people in Germany, if he wanted to even talk about Sweden and the issues that exist in Sweden, Sweden has the highest number of Islamic Islamic State fighters per capita in Europe. Except there has been an influx. But, but the chain, listen, what he put out there was a lie. There haven't been incidents in Sweden. The Swedish said, what the hell are you well, talking about? Let's, no, the no, Swedes, that, I'm yeah. sorry, babe. The Swedes are saying to him, what are you talking about They're in talking terms about of that this? because he made it sound like there was an incident last night in Sweden, which is what he said, which is incorrect. But right. if you want to talk about rapes increasing in Sweden, if you want to talk about issues, you can, well, but you need to say. That is not true. It's not true. That rapes are increasing. No significant increase in crimes from 2015 to 2016. And in fact, the only type of crime in Sweden that has undeniably spiked are Islamophobic hate crimes. Those have risen from 327 in 2013 to 558 What I'm saying is these, this, this documentary that he decided to quote from, yeah. which some yeah. people are backing up and other people are saying these statistics aren't right, he needed to say that's where he had gotten his information. If yes. he wants to bring up these issues, much like the guy who did the documentary on it, he's entitled to do that. But he's not you entitled know. to say there was an event that happened last night in Sweden. He has to say, look. We mean I clear law, that, that hate crimes. And he shouldn't link it to Germany. Muslims. He shouldn't link not. He shouldn't link it to Germany. Those are two separate. The, here's the tragedy of the way he lies and makes up these stories. Forty percent of Trump. Forty-seven percent of Trump voters. A new, only 47% of Trump voters knew that Frederick Dull Douglass was dead, that he died, you know, 100 years. <laughs> they don't know, they don't. Over half of Trump voters believe the Bowling Green massacre actually happened. So that his, he's always lying, and his base, half of them believe it. But that happens that with is every the politician. Problem. That happens with that every politician. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. Nobody go ahead. lies. Sarah, the problem ahead. that I had with the story was that <laughs> after the, re the incident came out, which he was grouping it with a bunch of terrorist attacks, so it's a misleading at best. Tucker Carlson kind of defended it and said, quote, the president ought to be precise in what he says. There should be no confusion about what he means, kind of saying, get over the logistics. But I find this dangerous, too. When you're talking about Paris, 130 people died. Nice, 86 died. Brussels, 32 died. In Germany, Berlin, 12 died. Yeah. You're grouping in an immigration problem, facts or not, and you're sweeping it in with major terrorist attacks. Right. That That's is what a false does. equivalent that he's just tacking yeah. on the end. Yeah. No the kidding. first time he tweeted the list of where terrorist attacks had happened, he mentioned one in Sweden. And when you look closer, it was about smoke in a in a camp that mm -hmm. they they ruled had nothing to do with terrorism. Yes. So he's yes. loosely putting these incidents out there and just tucking a few in. And these are major problems. He's making people afraid of immigrants. Well, that's that's, that's, what, right. that's, that's what, what this is all about. That's what. Well, you know what? Listen. The whole, this whole thing this weekend, you know, forgive me. I, I made a movie called Soap Dish. 
Yeah. Where, um... Great movie. Thank you. <laughs> Sally Field is a soap opera star. Yeah. And when she gets blue, when she gets down or she needs some support or, you know, some... I say, let's go to Paramus. Well, I think Steve Bannon said the same thing this weekend. Let's go to Florida. Mm, yeah. Because that's what it looked like. Mm -hmm. 10,000 people saying, yeah, you're the dude. You're the man. But it doesn't help if you don't have your facts. You got to have your facts. And even, I, I would say, even Trump supporters at some point are going to say, well, you know, we really want you to do this, but we want you to do it legally. We want you to do this the way you're supposed to. The way, because you bitched about how you said everything Obama does or did was not legal. The, you're doing the same thing. So where, do, when does it, it, it goes back to last week, when does, when does fake news become fake news. Yeah. Well, when think, is it? I think he has to be careful of how he words things. You can have a conversation about refugees, and you can even have a conversation about whether or not influxes of refugees in certain countries where they're not vetted, where the background checks don't exist, whether that policy has negatively affected that country. What you can't do is cite some sort of documentary without saying so, yeah. and then pretend there was an incident in Sweden last right. night. That doesn't work for anyone well, either anyway. side he of the aisle. He does what he wants to well, do. Well, he does says whatever you know, comes into his head. Yeah, but he had to come back and fix it because it was Embarrassing quoted for them. about what's he smoking. Mm -hmm. He also said, We are used to seeing the president of the U.S. as one of the most well informed persons in the world, yeah. also well aware of the importance of what he says. And then suddenly we see him engaging in misinformation and slander against a truly friendly country, obviously relying on sources of equality that at best could be described as dubious. Well, he, he, dubious. Picks, he picks on Australia, he picks on Sweden, and yet he still loves Russia so much. That's, that's the thing about him. Putin and he are in a that's bromance, a but he's having fights with everybody else who's been a friend here to four. And a lot to of the Trump United supporters States. feel like uh, that he's, they're cheering for him because they're baffled by the media backlash that he's getting. They see a very successful president who's making good on his campaign promises. Right. They yeah. do. I guess they you don't know? want clean water or air. No, but they, vo but they voted <laughs> for, that's not a fair argument. That's not fair. It's it's no, that's not. But that's Absolutely. not fair to say. That's, that's a not? talking point. People say Republicans don't like clean water or air. That's not true. There's a lot of people the that are EPA fighting. The guy is against the whole That's not true. So you have tons of people that, throughout the country who are trying he to protect just, their jobs. But he just deregulated. He just allowed right, but, dumping in our streets. But a lot of that right. water sources. But there has to be a balance because a lot of that excessive regulation puts a lot of people out of work. And those people well, have I'm to sorry. feed no, their no, families. No, 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 no. Let me, let me explain. Let me say that the coal companies are putting stuff into my rivers. First of all, the the EPA was strengthened because companies were not looking out for their workers. That's why these regulations went in, because the companies didn't care that they were poisoning people's water. They didn't care. They felt like they had a, a, a revolving door of miners who could come in and go. The people who are going to get eaten by this, this deregulation, are the people who live in that area. That's true. That's, who's, who, voted that's who are, people well, I don't know if it's the people who voted for him, a but the people People who are minors who are in these areas where this runoff is going to happen exactly. are going to find themselves doing the same things their grandfathers did 30 years ago when they discovered that these companies could give a flying booty about them.